Yesterday, Sunday, um, shortly afternoon, uh, an 18-year-old uh, teenager was walking near West Pender and Howe Streets. Uh, she was walking with a friend, just minding her own business, and she was attacked by a man whom she did not know and did not have any previous uh, interaction with. Uh, we believe that this uh, man uh, approached her uh, either from behind or from the side. Uh, either way, she wasn't looking. Uh, she wasn't aware that he was coming, and he struck her violently, caused her to lose consciousness and fall to the ground. Fortunately, there were a number of people who, uh, who were there, who were present, who provided first aid. There was actually a doctor present um, who did tend to her and a number of witnesses who called 911. Uh, our officers responded, and we were able to um, quickly locate security video from a business uh, in the downtown core uh, to get a good uh, idea of what the suspect looked like. He had taken off running after the assault. Um, so with that security video, which our officers fanned out uh, throughout uh, the downtown core, uh, our officers began patrolling throughout the area, looking for the suspect, and were able to find the suspect about 40 minutes after the initial assault. <clears throat> he was taken into custody uh, without incident. Now, the victim, she's an 18-year-old. She's an exchange student from Mexico. Uh, she was just minding her own business, um, <clears throat> knocked out, uh, fell to the ground. Uh, she was taken to the hospital um, Mostly as a precautionary measure, we don't believe that her injuries are going to be um, life-altering or life-threatening yet. Her physical injuries will be life-altering or life-threatening. However, you can imagine the, um, the psychological or emotional trauma that goes along with it, being the victim of a, another stranger attack. Um, and we'll be working with her through our victim services to, to lend her support. Uh, the suspect in this case was taken to jail. Um, we will be recommending charges of assault and breach of probation. Um, I can't name him at this point because I have not confirmed that the charges have formally been laid. He's currently in custody waiting to see a judge. Um, but I can tell you that the suspect in this case uh, is a man who at the time of the offense was wanted uh, BC wide uh, on a mental health warrant. Uh, he was arrested um, for that warrant, taken into custody, and uh, we anticipate that charges will be forthcoming related to the, uh, the assault that took place yesterday.